This is Millicent Gaika. In May last year, she became the latest lesbian in South Africa's poor black townships to be subjected to a brutal sexual attack. Like many other lesbians, she underwent an ordeal known as corrective rape, carried out by gangs of youth who claim they intend converting their victims to heterosexuality. These attacks take place despite South Africa's laws aimed at protecting gay people. In 13 other African countries, homosexuality is also permitted by law. But in the remaining 38 African nations, being gay is a crime. In three, it is punishable by the death penalty. We're joined on our panel by Ugandan MP David Bahati from the country's ruling party. He's the main force behind a proposed anti-homosexuality bill that in some cases would see homosexuals in prison. In the case of the sorts of rapes that are being reported in South Africa, we have the benefit of a state that recognizes the possibility of a hate crime. That is to say, a crime that is motivated by the identity of the target. But what about a state where the identity of the target is unknown because the identity of the target would be illegal if it were so identified? For this, we would have to try and get the numbers in some other way. But to get the numbers for how many corrective rapes there are in, say, Uganda, we would first have to know how many homosexuals there are in Uganda. The existence of homosexuals in Africa, you think, is compromising population growth in Africa? Is that what Sat you're saying? Certainly. It is? Yeah. Yes. Can you give us a figure on that, Mr. Bahati? No, I do not have to give you the figure because uh, our homosexuality is illegal in our country, and therefore there is no way we can have capture this figure so into our, you've our got, statistics. Is it about 30 million people live in Uganda? David Bahati's comments illustrate the point of how a hidden population comes to be. If you criminalize an entire group of people, then you've eliminated your ability to observe those people and see what their needs are, how they're being abused, how they're being exploited, and perhaps more importantly, how they're dealing with those particular health issues specific to their lifestyles. My paper focuses on the public health problems that you create when you generate a hidden population of anybody, but with a degree of people who have different health concerns especially. However, with this video, I wanted to highlight the differences in between what people's arguments are. When homosexuals talk about being mistreated, they're talking about being beat, murdered, killed. And when opponents of homosexuality talk about the dangers of homosexuality, they're largely talking in the abstract. They're largely talking about things that haven't been put to any sort of serious study. They're talking about things that are undocumented and, in my opinion, utterly mythical. I don't like them. I don't appreciate this child. I, I have no time. And I have nothing to explain about them because it irritates me, it pains me, it hurts me a lot. Those people we must stay away from them. They are not the normal people like we because we only know that if I'm a guy, I must propose a girl. So if they are the lesbian, they must. In fact, no lesbian naturally. No, my idea is to say, let's turn their minds to be normal, because right now they are being inhuman. In my judgment, there are two kinds of people that you can support through legislation. You can support people like this. They tell us that they will kill me. They're going to show, they, they, they will rape me. After raping me, I'll become a, a girl. I'll become a straight girl. Unfortunately, through this kind of legislation, David Bahati and his supporters have chosen to give their weight and the power of law to people who think in this fashion. If there is someone who is trying to rape those lesbians, me, I can appreciate the thing, that is terrible. Because we just to let them know they must be in a straight motion of way. I mean, I have no time to rape them, but if there is some of the other guys who wanted to teach them the way, they must rape them, they must rock them. Once she gets raped with the guy, I think she want to know a way and to do something which is nice. Considering that David Bahati has a responsibility to govern all of his subjects and not just those who agree with his view that homosexuals should be imprisoned or murdered, it's strange that he doesn't see clear to ensure the civil rights of those individuals that he would send off to the gallows. You would assume that an educated lawmaker could achieve these sorts of things, since Puppies can do it.